Hi Virgo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Virgo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Virgo. So we have the Five of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this is a card of conflicts. This is a card of um, not seeing eye to eye. There could be mind games, the clashing of ego, um, but it does look like someone could have crossed the line. Um, there's this feeling of one person choosing to withdraw because they feel as if things have gone too far, and there's just this defeated energy with the Five of Swords. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Here we have the Tower, Mars Energy. The Eight of Swords, Air Energy, and the Nine of Cups, Water Energy. It looks like someone is choosing themselves. They, they're looking at the situation as volatile. The Tower does show that there could have been some sort of blow up between you and someone. You could have fallen out with them and chosen to, um, to free yourself. Um, because with this Eight of Swords, it's like you're viewing them as someone who victimized you. You're viewing them as someone who makes you feel bad about yourself. Someone who makes you feel... Uh, trapped or in your head, you know, constantly overthinking or anxious. And then we have the Nine of Cups, which is like a very independent energy. There's this feeling of walking away from something and choosing to love yourself instead. You know, it's like what they were giving you, you're choosing to just give it to yourself because there's this self-loving, independent, emotionally independent, fulfilling energy with the Nine of Cups here. But it is coming after, you know, a very dramatic situation, a drama-filled situation. So let's clarify the cause, Virgo. Okay, so we have the two of cups and this is water energy cancer pisces scorpio energy it does look like this is someone where there was a lot of love but it got too intense it's something you guys didn't agree on there's something that uh caused a rift in the situation but there's still that love that's still there you may even just be mutually agreeing to kind of take some space from each other here there's something you guys are mutually agreeing on here okay so let's see okay we have the temperance sagittarius energy the Two of Swords, Air Energy, and we have the Six of Pentacles, Earth Energy. You could still be indecisive about this, but it looks like you're taking time for yourself because with this um, this Nine of Cups, there's this independent energy, like you're, you're taking space from the situation. There's something mature that you're doing because you don't want to act out of, you know, a place, from, a place of confusion. It's like you're trying to get some sort of clarity within yourself first before being able to decide how you want to move forward here the the, the temperance being here they could be doing the same thing because i'm seeing you guys taking space because th there's still this confusion or lack of clarity about how to deal with the situation um there's definitely a feeling here of needing to restore balance in the situation but i do see you guys agreeing to take some time apart here um we with the six of pentacles there is again that feeling of owing each other or needing to make something right here um, possibly an apology or just balancing out the scales here because something does seem like it may have been unfair someone was playing dirty and um you may have uh caught on to that and chosen to, to to take to step back from the situation so it does look like there's a delay here a decision still has to be made but it does look like a break of some sort is taking place okay so i'm gonna put an oracle card for you virgo Okay, 
Okay, so we have a personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. So there's definitely, this does look like a situation where you guys may still come back together and work something out or come to a mutual agreement. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you. We have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So there could be something getting in the way of this connection, being able to uh, flourish here. Yeah, it could be financial issues. It could be even self-esteem issues with this kind of card. Um, but there is definitely something here that's preventing forward movement. Um, and it could also be what's resulting in this acting from a place of ego. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you. Okay, so we have enthusiasm and friendship a single rose can be my garden a single friend my world it looks like you and this person are gonna come to some sort of mutual understanding because there's goodwill there's this friendship foundation or there's just this liking this kindness towards each other here even though it does look like there was some sort of a fallout it looks like you guys will resolve this mutually okay so i'm gonna pull out a card for your advice virgo Okay, so we have surrender stress. Take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, um, Virgo. I hope you have a really, really good day, Virgo. Bye, Virgo.